Hello. In this video, we will know about uh, an academic projects for final year undergraduate engineering students. Most of the students have a poor knowledge on how to define a project and how to continue the project and how to execute the project and how to obtain proper results and how to analyze the results and also how to write and submit a report and also how to present it. So these are the various aspects that are involved in a project. So in this video, I will be explaining all these things and this video is very useful for the students who are not having appropriate support of industrial experts or various branch experts in the field that they are doing the project. And coming to the academic projects, it usually starts in the final semester of the final year. Generally, engineering degree will be for four years. That means this projects will start in the eighth semester. Eighth semester, if you are having two years, two semesters in a year, or if first year is year based, then it will be the seventh semester. So, the seventh semester or eighth semester that will start in the month of December or January and it will be completed by April, May. April ending or May first week, first or second week. But this time is a special time because it is an unexpected break due to the epidemic apex effects that are caused by the COVID-19 holidays. So, and also it is a time for each and every final year students, engineering students to start and to complete and submit and also to get the satisfaction from the respective departments, respective heads or the respective universities so that you can fulfill all the criteria that is required to obtain the BTEC degree. So this video will help to all the students and also it guides you how to perform a projects uh, by staying at home. A simple simple project, so many projects you can do by staying at homes. So basically we are concentrating on that. Let's start, let's not waste much of time and let's start it. So basically engineering projects so every project it will have a proper goal so there will be so many types of projects in general if i talk it will be like a research projects it will be projects of analysis which they will analyze very very big very very big data okay so like different different projects will have if you see different different countries different different states you will expose the different different kinds of projects if you go through with the different different fields so there will be different kind of projects but what is an academic project basically an academic project e will explore it will explore the skills that you have learned in your four years of undergraduate time okay so whatever the different different course that have you have thought whether you can apply those skills to solve a complex problem so that's what that complex problem it is a, it is it is called as a project in this final semester now what that complex project means what that complex problem means that complex problem includes that means it requires the knowledge of various subjects okay to solve that that means for example you will write an exam for each and every subject that is only simple subject it is not a complex thing okay but what a complex problem means the complex problem requires the knowledge of various subjects to solve it okay so that means it requires a mathematics it requires uh, the core engineering subjects 
it requires the knowledge about elective subjects it requires the knowledge about some computer subjects like some programming subjects so like this you required all these things to solve that particular problem so that's why a project a project is equal an academic project is equal to equal to solving the a complex engineering problem now it is clear that you need different different the knowledge of different different subjects that you have covered in your undergraduate degree okay to perform a good projects now let us see what are the various types of the projects that you can perform what are the various choices you have to do different different projects because the time is limited it is usually hardly 6 months if you see depending upon your curriculum but if you remove the evaluation time and all those things then the actual time will limits for 4 months so within 4 months a student has to decide what is the project title and what they are going to do what they are going to achieve that then how you are and in the same time you have to continue you have to execute that you have to get the results and you have to write a thesis a report for that and also you have to uh, present it the finally you have to present whatever the results that you have obtained okay all these things you have to do to get the degree so now depending upon that depending upon all these things by considering this four months time so there are total three types in the projects one is study project and the other one is simulation based then the third one is experimental based so these three types a student can perform project now let us see what is study project so this study project is nothing but a detailed study that is performed on various issues like control of something or manufacturing process of something or in depth analysis in depth study of some process like this so for example if you see induction motor so motor control is very important in any industry now there are hundreds of methods to control this induction motor now this control has started in very early years now if you see the scenario if you make a report such that how the control is started and what is the latest advanced methods that are available as and today so if you make a detailed report in a sequential manner so that will come that will that will become a very good study project similarly there is a uh, if you take machines electrical machines in that there you can observe uh, some latest control called sensorless control now there are hundreds of ways to implement the sensorless control now you start from where actually the sensorless control is started now you observe you go you perform a detailed study on all those methods which are available on same topic as until day and just submit a report so that will become a very good study project that means you can give a detailed information about any one particular topic through this study project this is one way how you can perform a study project another way is if you find any problem in any process then to know the solution to that process you can perform to get that data if you want to test that process you need data for in order to procure that data you need you need to make a study so then you have to visit a concerned industry or you have to visit concerned process process system then you have to make a very detailed report on that so that is also will become a good project and that is also called a study project so the outcome of those this type of project is automatically a large set of data which can based on which you can further improve the system or you can based on which you can further give the solutions uh, to the problems that are already uh, present in those particular systems so in this way you can perform the study project now the second type is simulation based so simulation based means simulation means creating its model in a digital computer so there are various 
tools or packages or softwares that are available for all the engineering branches to simulate any type of system whether it can be a manufacturing process or it can be a design system or if you want to analyze any system for example in electrical engineering if it is a motor if it is a generator if it is a power system if it is a solar cell if you take in mechanical engineering if it is a structures if it is a fluid dynamics so everything you can simulate there are softwares available so many softwares that are available so worldwide commercially almost 2000 plus softwares or tools they are available now what you can do is if you find any particular problem in any system if you want to test it whether that problem is genuine or if you are suggesting any solution so directly you are not allowed to test or directly are not allowed to perform that solution on realistic things so what what is the solution is first step is to simulate the system so create that system in a digital computer then you apply your solution get the result if your results are very fine then you can apply the same results to the actual systems so these type of studies are these type of projects are called simulation based sometimes the input to this kind of projects will be taken from the output of the study projects so you required a system data to simulate that particular system uh, the ratings of equipment that you are using the values the values and the range of each and every experiment that means you should have a very clear idea about the complete system and its modeling so once modeling means you should have a very good mathematical background if you want to simulate something so these types of projects called simulation projects and you can see most of the students they will perform simulation projects if, if your total projects are 100 percent then hardly 10 percent will be study projects and the remaining 60 to 70 percent these projects will be simulation projects only because at the level of btech a student don't doesn't have appropriate knowledge to manipulate any real-time systems that's why no one will permit you to directly touch the systems or to directly play with the systems existing systems that's why the best thing is to perform the simulation based project so that you can test any system you can model any system you can analyze any system and you can create or suggest the modifications in any system next the last one is experimental based so these experimental based are nothing but there are uh, you can create the real time model of some systems for example you see the basic the basic uh, projects of this kind uh, includes water level control generally we will see in the water flow uh, when the tank is overflow automatically the water will go on so after lot of wastage only we will come to know that the water is leaking so it is already overflowing to control that we can create an alarm so that kit directly you can make it and you can put it in the water so that automatically when water reaches to particular level it will give an alarm and you can switch off the uh, pump or motor whatever it is so like this and but this is a very 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 minute thing this is not actually projects most of the students they will do such type of simple simple things and they will submit it as a project but actually it is not experimental based project is this nothing but you have to experiment it you don't know whether that will works or not okay so if that works it will become a new invention so you have to first of all you have to identify if you want to do any experimental project you have to identify what is the problem in an existing system or if the existing system is not satisfying the requirement then you have to modify its design or you have to um, provide a new system a new system or new device for that you have to perform first of all detailed study about that particular system which you want to consider then the next step is to simulate the system you have to model that based on that model you have to simulate the systems once you simulate the system you will get the results in simulation if those simulations are satisfying the results uh, are satisfying then you can say your system or your analysis or your design is right then you can go for uh, the last step is to go for the experimental based things so now you experimentally verify that thing and submit uh, you compare these results of experimental of simulation if these two results matches then your work is correct so this is the way 
how you are how you have to do how you have to do a BTEC projects so first thing is very simple one study project second is simulation based if you want to perform a simulation based it also involves the study also and the third thing is the experimental based if you are doing any experimental things then it involves both the things that is study of that particular thing and simulation of that particular thing so these three uh, things you can perform so but mostly most of the students will choose simulation because if you want to go for experimental it will take a lot of time generally so because you need to procure each and every equipment something is available something is not available so there is a lot of time delay in that so due to that because as i told you initially there are four months of time so generally it is less time to do some experiments and that's why i suggest uh, to go to simulation based so that you can learn more you can experiment more in the sim simulation and there is no limitation in the simulation things so this is about uh, different types of projects